So I remember so well before having kids that Friday would roll around and I would be at work and I would just remember thinking, oh my God, thank God it's Friday. And then suddenly you have kids and you're like, oh my God, it's Friday. I have a whole weekend full of kids and cleaning and all these things that come with the weekend. And I remember thinking, oh my gosh, thank goodness it's Monday. And at some point after adding in all this clean eating and food, I realized that all of a sudden Fridays weren't seeming so stressful. So that's what I really wanted to share with you today. Fridays can be this way to reclaim our weekends and to really get grounded again and take away that whole idea that we're these martyr moms doing way too much stuff and feeling totally spent by the time the weekend comes. Throughout the week, you get so busy. I know I can sometimes get so busy. And the idea of healthy eating and meal planning and feeding our kids well, it's just that one extra thing that we're adding to our to-do list. And it seems like how could we possibly fit this thing in when all we really crave is just a little extra time just for ourselves. So what I wanna offer you today is a simple tool that can give you that extra time that you're craving. Here's the plan, once a week for 15 minutes. I know that you can find 15 minutes. I want you to think about this. What would happen if you went to a cafe and you went to the cafe, your favorite cafe, and you brought a notebook and you ordered your favorite latte or tea or green smoothie even if they have them and you sat down and you took 15 minutes that was really for yourself and during that 15 minutes, you plan out the meals for the week and you just sit down and you make a list and then you have it and half the stress of meal planning and healthy eating is the unknown, what we don't know. So here it is that you've taken 15 minutes totally for yourself and you've gotten this extra thing done. The easiest way to plan is to sit down with a notebook or a sheet of paper and to really create a rhythm around your meal. So in my world, Monday is always bean night. So we always have beans on Monday, maybe red beans, maybe lentils, maybe black beans. There's so many different varieties, but Monday is bean night. On Thursday, it might be soup night. And on Wednesday morning, we may always have oats. So start to think of those things that you always eat and use those as ben benchmarks and a rhythm for your week. And that will really help you just to really be utilizing these 15 minutes to create a rhythm that can really be sustaining. And in the next video that I send you, I'm gonna go deeper into how to make this rhythm really work and lead you to your healthier, happier life. This is really meant to be fun, right? So I really want you to take this 15 minutes for yourself. It really is just 15 minutes. And think of it as fun. Think of it as that escape from your life or whatever those things are that are overwhelming to you. And this time really for yourself. Put it in your calendar, have fun, and I'm dying to know what you end up doing. So either reply to the, an email, the email that you received from me or leave a comment below and let me know how your time went and if you got a good plan out of it. I would love to hear. 